Good morning. Welcome back to Tara at Home. We are now in Burlington. I'm here with Steve Nagy, and you're the owner of CoreLink Wellness Center, and a uh, great facility here. I know this is your new location. You've been here for about a year now, right? That's right. And uh, you've really expanded, so we need to talk about exactly what this wellness center does. And I mean, it just covers the whole spectrum. Okay, absolutely. Mm -hmm. We used to um, have mostly just massage therapy, osteopathic work, right. uh, naturopaths and acupuncture, but now we've branched out. We're in about 3,000 square feet here now. Nice. And we have a nice 400 square foot room where we um, um, can do a bit of Pilates mm -hmm. and some active therapy and blend that in with the rest of our modalities. Mm -hmm. Now, now you, you yourself really study the osteopathic techniques um, in your work. So tell me what osteopathy is, because a lot of people have interest, people are looking for just to be healed. So they're, they're going outside of the regular spectrum to try to find something. So what is osteopathy? Okay, well, I, I learned my uh, trade through the Canadian College of Osteopathy, and they mm -hmm. have a, um, a certain focus on how they deal with the body and certain um, way about looking at the body and analyzing it and incorporating different techniques in order to bring the body back into its alignment, okay. including cranial therapy, visceral therapy, and really spending a lot of time looking at the fascia of the body. Now, what type of approach is this, uh, this type of treatment? Um, is, it, is it really physical? Is it really hands-on? How, how, does, how does it feel to, to a patient? Absolutely. It's uh, hands-on therapy, so mm. it's similar to massage therapy, but um, the techniques are very gentle. Sometimes the techniques are uh, looking at uh, realigning the, the vertebrae of the spine or mm -hmm. looking at looking joints and looking at the, the organs of the body. So you're actually hands-on moving things. Okay. Um, and sometimes it's very subtle. So cranial techniques can be as simple as just having the client lying on the table mm -hmm. and applying a very, very gentle force, perceiving the movement of the body and the, the bones of the skull okay. and bringing them back into alignment. Okay, now, so when you're talking something, for example, I've had active release therapy before, where it's a, it's a pretty aggressive therapy and you can feel it. It works, but I mean, it's sometimes you gotta really get in there so you would osteopathy is not really maybe I would say as, as painful, right? Right. We do we do offer similar techniques at mm -hmm. the clinic through massage therapists who provide deep tissue work, and mm -hmm. that's absolutely mandatory. In some cases, yeah, uh, clients really respond benefit. well to that. Mm -hmm. um, some clients, uh, in, in general, their tissue requires a softer approach. So mm -hmm. the osteopathic approach is very gentle. Uh, very pain-free. It's uh, working with the feedback of the client as well. So you're mm -hmm. not doing anything that is um, going to give them any discomfort. Mm -hmm. uh, even though after the treatments, uh, some of the side effects may include a bit of achiness as the body's trying to realign sure. itself. Okay. Um, and that's explained to the client. Yep. And usually something like an Epsom salt or a hot bath will help to Easy. allow the client to adapt into that new alignment. Mm -hmm. Which is great though, because you think of the benefits to come. Now when someone's coming for osteopathy, um, how I guess it depends on, on the type of uh, treatment or injury, but how, how often would they come? It really does depend. So mm -hmm. what we're seeing, uh, what we've seen in the past, a lot of people will come and seek um, complementary medicine mm -hmm. as a source of pain relief if they've had an injury or an accident. Sure. Uh, what we see now is a lot more people just trying to take an active uh, role in their healthcare. Okay. So they may be uh, an office worker with sore, stiff shoulders that oh. they've had uh, repetitive you know, treatment for their upper back, and they're looking for something a little bit deeper. So they're trying to identify sources of chronic pain and trying to okay. relieve that or unblock certain areas and allow their body to move more uh, efficiently and more so effectively. So they know if they have a repetitive, uh, something like that, a repetitive strain, repetitive injury from work, they can kind of continue to come just for that relief, I guess. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And okay. what osteopathy okay. also does is looks deeper than that. It's, it's looking a little bit more towards the cause of problems. Mm -hmm. So if there's something deep within the structure of the body mm -hmm. that's pulling on a yeah, shoulder. Yeah, we should use this guy. We have him here, right? Absolutely. So. It's very convenient. <laughs> Hi. Uh, uh, so if, if somebody's coming with a chronic shoulder problem, there mm -hmm. may be a, a direct injury or blow to the shoulder at some point in their history, but they also may have some structural problem within the rest of the body that's pulling on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. And osteopathy looks a little bit deeper into the body oh. at, at cause and effect. That's the thing a lot of times people don't realize if they have, as you say, an injury in one particular area, and it, it really does affect, it can affect so many parts of the body, right, because of the strain and the pull and everything. So you that's need right. to address everything. Right. Right. Part of what osteopathy looks at is the fascia of the body. And if uh -huh. you think of packaging, we have a number of different layers of packaging. So if you take the bones, you take the blood, you take the muscles out of the body and you mm -hmm. just had the fascia, you would have pretty much a 3D opaque exact replica of what you see here. Mm -hmm. If there's an injury that creates a strain within that, you'll see wrinkles within that fascia. Wow. And that's kind of what we look at. I look at the body as a 3D view, trying to figure out where the wrinkles and, and strains are and mm -hmm. try to remove those, not just look at the site of the injury or the site of pain. Wow, wow, quite intensive, isn't it? <laughs>
it's a bit of work and it does take a lot of time yeah. and it's yeah. but a very effective way of looking and analyzing. But I think what's body. neat we should address too is that we can you can move people from that into you now have a Pilates studio as well. So the treatment continues um, almost rehabilitation to the point where it helps them become active again. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're taking the passive or the, the the therapist working on the body and getting the person back into their body. So finding their core, mm -hmm. re-strengthening. Mm -hmm. What will happen with injuries is that when the body is adapting around an injury, such as maybe an ankle sprain, you'll start to limp. And then your body adapts around that injury and then you just carry that on through the rest of your life. The Pilates helps to take you out of that uh -huh. repetitive motion and then get you back into your um, core, recentering, restructuring, and, and bring balance back into the body. So that's a very effective mm -hmm. way to integrate what we're doing with uh, on the table. Now you have someone specific for Pilates instruction here um, at your clinic, and, and uh, so they can address that. And it's a different approach than a lot of people go to Pilates classes uh, in and around the region, but this is different because, again, it can be in just a small format or an individual assessment. So really just working on you. You were mentioning to me um, from seniors, again, to people with you know severe injuries, trying to get them back. And, and Pilates is such an old form of, of, of exercise and treatment that it, it's really come so far but still yet so old and traditional right. it's it's the right way really Absolutely. to help people treat people that's right yeah so it's really nice that you have her here as well now let's talk maybe a little bit about some of the other um, treatments that you have here at the clinic yeah uh, what I'd like to, uh, to say is that I've surrounded myself with a wonderful group of professionals so mm -hmm. we have um, naturopaths that specialize in women's health uh, cancer therapy we have um, mm -hmm. an excellent reflexologist, Reiki therapists, we have right, right. Um, massage therapists that do everything from relaxation to motor vehicle rehab to deep aggressive sports, structural work. Um, Which is great. And, and it just goes on from there, acupuncture, mm -hmm. chiropractic. Um, we have an osteopath practitioner here. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just, it's a blend of all these different trades and modalities to achieve a full um, spectrum of treatment for each client that comes through. So basically that's the thing, like if someone's looking for something specific, sometimes people don't know exactly what they're looking for, right? right. So could someone just like walk in your door and say, you know what, I, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling that. I, I, sometimes people don't even know why they're feeling it, right? They haven't even identified what has caused some of their pain. Yep. So you guys can just sort of address send them to whoever is specific for their needs and, and it's kind of a sort of a really nice one-stop facility for people to, right. uh, to do what they need to do. Right? Absolutely, and it works it. well within the regular medical community. So we'll work with doctors right. as opposed to uh, alternatively working in our own little bubble. We yeah. like to work within the Everyone's regular working mainstream. together for the same cause. Absolutely. To heal you, make you feel good, this functional. Is a wonderful goal, isn't it? Love it. All right, and your website again, Steve? www.corelinkwellness.com. Perfect, right here in the heart of Burlington, uh, just across from the YMCA. All right, we're going to be back with more Tara at Home after this. Thanks. Thanks.